yawning under here. I gotta, I gotta stay awake. Sorry. <laughs> no, I just have tea today. Not strong enough. Yeah, but it, it is black tea, so there's a little caffeine, but I, I think I need a shot of espresso or something. <laughs> Oh, all right, guys, here we go. Happy Tuesday. Happy snowy Tuesday. I know people don't like this weather because it's cold and it can be slick and icy. I love it. <laughs> I, I know it's really cold, but I like as long as you're inside and warm, if you're able to look out, it's just so cozy. Plus it's still January, you know? I'm from the Midwest where snow happens in January and that's okay. None of these like 60 degree days in January. <laughs> so we're having a little bit of winter today. That's okay. Hope you're all out there staying safe, staying dry and warm. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna stay warm inside by doing our stretches and our mindfulness, right? We're gonna warm up our bodies, warm up our minds and try to have ourselves a wonderful Tuesday. So we'll get right into the quote today. This one was actually shared with me by Mr. Lewis. He offered this for us last week. So I'll go ahead and read it and share it with all of you. It says, there are hundreds of languages in the world, but a smile speaks them all. There are hundreds of languages in the world, but a smile speaks them all. Even behind the mask, you can see the smile, right? It's a little harder these days, but you can tell when those eyes are smiling. Um, but I like this one, right? We're, we're all so different. There's so many things that could separate us or divide us. But I think this is a reminder of that, that positivity, that kindness, that smile, a simple act of a smile can really unite us all, right? And that can be that universal language that we all share. Because good grief, we know there's plenty out there that can separate us and it's doing a good job this year. <laughs> so even if it's one simple smile, see if you can offer that a day. Smiling to someone else, maybe a smile to yourself. There you go, Miss Carol. But truthfully, you, it, it's very hard to smile and not feel that inside of you, right? And so think of what that's doing to the person on the receiving end, right? They're feeling that same energy. So regardless of our differences, regardless of um, the divisions that can come between us, we can still share that universal language of kindness, of happiness, of a simple smile. So even behind the mask, we'll continue to smile today. We'll do our best. Uh, for those of you at home, I invite you to smile along and join us as we get to our starting position. We'll get going with our gentle stretches as we always do and follow it with some mindfulness. So let's go. Let's have a wonderful Tuesday. That's my invitation to you today. <sighs> so go ahead, come on to that starting position. Have your feet flat and then feel free to join along if you wish. Um, you'll notice uh, Jamie and Alex throughout will help with assists. Um, if you feel comfortable with that, feel free. If not, you can just join us for this class, okay? So feet flat, knees bent, hips are heavy, grounded into the chair beneath. Lengthen that spine so it's nice and tall. Relax the shoulders down. And then we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. So I invite you here to close your eyes. As we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale, through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Open those eyes back up. Come on back into the space that you're in, and we will start with our stretches. So as always, we'll begin with our legs, our lower extremities. Go ahead and bring them straight out in front of you as best as you can. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing the feet here. Right, so just getting some motion at the ankles. Starting to wake up the body. Get that energy stirring. 
And let's always keep in mind, right, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, I invite you to close the eyes and see if you can watch as the body moves energetically. So visualizing, putting a little intention behind the action. And then of course, as always, keep the breath flowing. <sighs> nice job, you guys. All right, when you're done with that, keep those legs nice and long, but you can rest your heels on the floor. We're gonna flex our toes back in towards the body, keep the legs nice and long, lengthen the spine, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, gently reach down in the direction of your toes. Oh, Lou never fails. He keeps making fun of me. <laughs> so maybe your hands end up at your toes. Maybe they're right at your knees or your shins. Wherever you're at, just ease into the sensation. Start to notice what you feel in the back of the legs. Maybe there's a stretching in the calves or the hamstrings. And then just continue to breathe. Relaxing into the posture, easing into the stretch. Good. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up for seated. Good. You can have your feet flat on the floor again, put a bend in the knees, return to midline. And let's take a breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, getting into our inner thighs, our hip adductors. We're going to gently take the knees and draw them away from one another. So just gently opening up the muscles of the inner thighs here, pulling the knees in opposite directions. Now you can use the muscles of the hips and the legs to do that, or if available, using the strength of your hand, maybe your forearm, and just adding a little extra push, right? Maybe deepening that stretch. And then coming back to the breath. Relax the shoulders. Soften any tension in the neck or the jaw. And just notice what you feel. Breathing into sensation. Easing into the stretch. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly draw those knees back together. Good. Once more, return to midline, and let's take a breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Wonderful. All right, getting into the back of our hips now. We'll come back to that starting position. Have your feet, legs, hips heavy. Sit up nice and tall as you breathe in. And then we'll bring our right knee up into the body here, gently squeezing it into your torso. Good. Now starting to breathe into the back side of the hip, feeling into the glutes and the rotators of your hip. You can stay here in this position or bring this leg up and over, crossing it to the other side. Good. And then just noticing again, what do you feel? What sensations are coming up? What can you see in your body or sense in your body? Good. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly lower that leg down. Nice job, you guys. We'll switch sides once more. Sit up tall, breathe in. And then bring the left leg up into your torso here. Gently squeezing it into the body. Good. Again, breathing into the back side of the hip on the left this time. You can stay right here or once again, bring that leg up and over to the other side. Good. And then just continue moving the breath. Slow and steady. Noticing what you feel. Noticing what comes up. Nice job, you guys. When you're 
ready, take another breath in here. And then as you exhale, slowly release, let that leg go. Good, let's take our breath to reset into the nose. Open up, exhale, let it go. Lovely. All right, done with the legs. So we're going to move on to our front now. Once again, bring your feet flat to the floor. Feel those hips heavy and grounded. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently twist over to the right. Good. Now bringing your hands to a position of your choice. Wherever you can create a little leverage, wherever it feels stable. And then continue to breathe. Inhale, sit up tall, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently lengthen the twist. Maybe the gaze comes over the right shoulder. And then continue to breathe. Softly in, softly out. I shall be back to be ready. Take another inhale here. And exhale slowly, slowly. Come on back towards center. Good. We'll go ahead and switch sides once more. Breathe in, sit up tall. And as you breathe out, gently twist over to the left. Good. Again, hands in a placement of your choice. Maybe the leg, maybe the chair. And then just continue to move the breath. Inhale, lengthen the spine, create space. Exhale, gently deepen the twist, moving into the space creating. Breathing into sensation, easing into the stretch. Good. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back towards center. Good, you guys, let's take a breath to reset into the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice. All right, uh, getting into our low back, our lumbar spine. So we'll keep our feet exactly where they're at. Start to round forward, bringing your hands down to your feet. Maybe they reach the floor. Now you can stay here in this position, just breathing into the low back, allowing the muscles of the lumbar spine to stretch open. If it feels okay, you can release the weight of the head all the way over, further opening the back body, and just easing into the stretch. Now if there's any compression of the breath or restriction here, just back off a little bit. You want to find a place that's easy to breathe, but you can also feel the stretch in your body. Good. Continue to relax a little bit more. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, Slowly roll back on our chair seated. Good. Allow that spine to come back in line. Allow your blood pressure to settle. And let's take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. Nice job, you guys. Open those eyes again. And then we'll get into the front of our body here. All right, so once again, feet are flat, hips are grounded, lengthen that spine, breathe in, and then slowly start to squeeze the shoulder blades together here. Good. Opening up across the chest here, allowing the collarbone to broaden. And try to keep those shoulders nice and relaxed here. We have a couple options. As always, we can take our spine up and over the chair. If, you're, if the back of your chair is a little higher, you can just push your shoulders into it, feeling the chest and the belly pull forward. Now you can also bring arms to either side, releasing across the pecs, releasing across the collarbone, and then maybe bring the gaze up towards the ceiling. Just a nice, easy tilt of the head as you continue to breathe. Breathing into the belly, 
to the pecs, across the neck, the throat. Good, feeling expansion with every inhale. Kind of softening with every exhale. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up towards seated. Good. Return to that starting position again. And let's take a breath to reach that in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice job, you guys. All right, moving on to the arms, our upper extremities. We'll start here with flexion of the shoulders. So, uh, as always, we have a couple options with the hand grips. Fingers can come in between. They can cup over. We'll strengthen one hand, can assist. Or you can do all of this with one arm. Wherever you're at, find that starting position, hand grip of your choice. And then as you inhale, gently lift those arms up and away from the body. Good. And then just start to notice what sensations do you feel? Any sense of stretch in your body? If there's any pain or forcing, just back off a little bit. Try to keep that spine long and lifted. Good. Sit up nice and tall. And then gently lift those arms to a place that feels best in your body. Try to relax the shoulders. Ease any tension in the face. And keep moving that breath. Good. If at any point you need to back off or come to a lower level, that's perfectly okay. But just use the breath, right? If you're able to, reach again. You can always take a break. You can always try again. Good. Wherever you're at, take another inhale here. And then exhale slowly, 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 lower down. Ah. Nice job, you guys. Relax those shoulders, come back to that midline position, and take a breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice. All right, we're going to get into our shoulder blades, so scapular blades. You guys here, you use the tables in front of you for support. For you folks at home, I'm going to turn to the side. And we'll show you what that looks like here. So if you have a table, it's just offering a little extra support for your hands. We're just taking and gliding them up and away as inappropriate. And what we're trying to do here is get a little motion in the shoulder blades, right? Drawing them around the rotation. So if you need to feel the difference, pull those shoulder blades in towards one another, weave them to midline, feel them in the middle of your back, and then pull them away from each other. You continue to wrap them up and around the torso and pull your arms up and away from the body. Good. In the breath, slow and steady. Spine long and lifted, and then 
If it feels the pain in your body, maybe deepen that stretch. Gently drawing the arm across the torso. Again, if there's pain, feel free to back off. Good. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower left that arm. Go. Good. And we'll switch sides once more. Sit up tall, breathe in. And then we'll bring our left arm up and across the body. Again, as always, a few options. One, reach that hand away from you. Two, hand comes to the opposite shoulder. And three, if available, using that free arm to gently guide the arm across your torso. Come back to the breath. Listen to the body. Honor that sensation. Nice job, you guys. Smooth and steady with the breath. Take another inhale here. And then exhale slowly, lower, let it go. Good. Breath here to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. All right, my favorite part, shoulder roll back in. Draw those shoulders up to your ears and back down. Up to the ears and back down. Good. Just getting some mobility through the whole shoulder girdle here. Making sure to go forwards as well as backwards. Maybe going side to side. Whatever feels best here, just letting it be a nice little self massage. All right, when you're ready, come on back to that starting position. Feet flat, hips heavy, spine long and lifted, relax the shoulders down, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. Good. And then just start to let everything be heavy. Let your shoulders draw down. Let the weight of your head pour over towards the floor. And just continue to breathe. Breathing into the left side of the neck. Watching, feeling as the muscles soften. Tissues slowly stretching away from themselves. Continue moving the breath, softly in, softly out. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back, you're seated. And we'll switch sides. Once more, sit up tall, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. Good, again, letting everything be heavy here. Shoulders, head, even your eyelids. Just relaxing into the stretch as you continue to breathe into the neck on the right side this time. Allowing the tissues to soften. Feeling as the muscle melts around the bone. Just continuing to relax a little more with every cycle of breath. Breathing in. Breathing out.
rotation and sit back to the arms are down. Be sure to switch direction. Reversing the rotation. Evening up the stretch. And continuing to breathe in the center. Ready, slowly bring the head back in line with the spine. And once again, we'll return to that starting position. Feet flat, legs, hips heavy, spine is long and lifted. Relax the shoulders down, and we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. Once more, I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, blink those eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And that's under our stretches for today. Nice job, you guys. Thanks for following along. For you guys at home, um, thank you. We are going to get set up here for mindfulness. So hold tight. I appreciate the applause. Thank you. Oh, you walked away. I got a new audience member. I like it. My fan base is growing. <sighs> All right. Alex, would you mind closing the kitchen door? Thank you, sir. All right, you guys. Let's get the timer set up here. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. How we doing? Hanging in there? Good. Miss Carol, you doing okay? Good. Stacy, you good? All right. Josh? Getting tired. Michael, you still with me? Lou, you awake? All right. <laughs> All right. We have a small crowd, but we have an excited crowd, right? All right, you guys, let's, uh, let's move forward. Let's move forward with our mindfulness. We're gonna continue the practice today that we did yesterday. And that is called a body scan. So as with all of our mindfulness practices, the idea is to get out of the head and into the body. Right? We know our brains are very powerful and that can be both good and bad. <laughs> Sometimes they, they overtake and they keep us stuck up here, right? And we fixate on negativity or worry. And you know, there's, there are things in life that need to be of concern and there's things that need to be focused on, but Sometimes the brain will run away with those stories, right? It'll fixate only on that. It'll maybe even make it worse, right? The stories we tell ourselves. Sometimes it is, it is up here and we need to be able to try and release that, right? And the idea is to not let that control us. We can see it, we can recognize it. We know it's a part of us and that's okay, but it doesn't have to be all of us. Right? It doesn't have to take over our, our happiness or our everyday mood or our general well-being. So the idea behind this practice is to try and soften and release some of that mental chatter and just tune into what's going on in our physical being, right? Noticing the sensations that are happening here in this moment. So as always, I will guide you guys through this. 
We'll hear the first bell, which will indicate that our time has started. And then when we're done with the practice, I will lead you guys out of it. I'll guide you out. What you do with that time in between is entirely up to you, but I invite you to arrive. I invite you to give yourself the gift of the next several minutes, right? To simply tune in and to simply let go. So wherever you're at, find a nice, comfortable seat. Start to let the body soften. Let the mind relax. And just allow yourself to arrive. Allow yourself to show up. Once again, for the next several minutes, I invite you to just be here. Give yourself permission to let go. Let go of any concerns from yesterday. See if you can let go of any fears for tomorrow. And allow yourself to tune in to today. This moment. The present moment. If you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and start to bring your awareness inside. if you can let go of any external distractions or ignoring any outside disruptions. Let your focus and your attention settle on you in this moment. With your eyes closed, see if you can see yourself. Visualizing you as you are, use the mind's eye to picture your whole being from head to toe, front to back, one side to the other, and inside to out. Sensing both physical and energetic bodies. Acknowledging the many parts feeling them all connected. 
sensing into your whole being. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. When you're ready, start to bring your awareness down into your feet. Seeing them, feeling them, sensing them. Let yourself just notice them. From the tips of your toes to the back of your heel, the sole of your foot, up to the top. What sensations do you feel? Can you notice touch or temperature? Is there a difference from left to right or top to bottom? Let yourself observe and just notice. What do you feel in your feet? Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. As you're ready, draw your awareness up out of your feet and coming into your shins, your calves, feeling everything from your ankle up to your knee. Can you sense your bones, and your ligaments, tendons, and muscles? Can you feel the skin as it wraps around the entirety of the lower half of your leg? What do you notice in your shin bone and the back of your calves? What can you feel on the touch of your skin? Maybe what do you notice from deep within? Simply observe, simply feel. Let yourself be aware. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Continuing to move up the legs, bringing your awareness out of the shins, out of the calves and into your thighs. Feeling your quadriceps on the front and your hamstrings on the back. Sensing everything from the knee up to the hip. Maybe you feel the pressure of the chair beneath your thighs or the weight of your hands as they rest on your legs. Maybe you sense the touch of the fabric of your pants as it rests on your skin. Maybe you notice an energetic sensation your nerves, your blood vessels, 
the inner workings of your thighs. Simply notice. Simply feel. What comes up? Can you sense in your body? soft breath out. Trying the awareness up out of your legs and coming into your hips and your pelvis. Feeling from left to right, top to bottom, sensing the very base of your sits bones up to the tips of your hip bones. Feel your pelvic floor and just below the navel, sensing everything in the bowl of your pelvis. And you feel into the hip joints. Maybe you feel the pressure of the chair as it pushes up into your sits bones or the touch of your waistband as it wraps around your skin. What can you feel? What can you notice? What do you sense? Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. When you're ready, draw your awareness up out of your hips, out of your pelvis, and coming in to the lower half of your torso. Feeling into the low belly and the lumbar spine. Sensing your waist from side to side, belly button to vertebrae. Can you feel the sensations of your organs deep within your belly? Maybe sensing your digestive system, feeling a rumbling in your tummy. From your hips up to the base of your rib cage, what can you sense? What do you feel? Take a soft breath in, and then a soft breath. 